Hey guys, so today I am doing my everyday makeup routine. Um, and this is like mastering the no makeup makeup. No makeup makeup. Yeah. Um, I think this look is like really in for every day and like who doesn't want to look like they're wearing no makeup but like look like they're so naturally beautiful. Um, so I feel like I've really like perfected it because I am a person who doesn't wear a lot of makeup every day. By a lot of makeup I mean it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup but a lot of you beg to differ when you see all the products that I'm using. It actually doesn't take this long, that long. Like I can do my makeup in like seven minutes. So it really doesn't take that long. But I do not do my eyebrows, so I feel like if you had to do your eyebrows, like, might add some time. Um, but it's, like, just, like, super dewy, really glowy, bronzy, just how I want to look every day. Just pre fresh and pretty and, yeah, what I'm wearing on my face right now. Uh, if you like this video, remember to subscribe to my channel, please, and... Follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page, like Rochelle, like Louise, you know, everything we link down below. Very much appreciated if you do though. So yes, let's just get into it. So I'm first taking the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and putting this on any parts of my face that I want to be super dewy. So just cheekbones and a little bit on the forehead, down my nose, all that good stuff. Then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation, and I'm pretty sure this is in medium, I think. And I'm putting that all over my face with a beauty blender, but you can also do this with your fingers if you want a lighter coverage. Next, going back to an oldie but goodie, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer for your under eyes, and I'm taking this in light and making triangles, and then going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Hey. I'm now taking the Bobbi Brown bronzer in natural and I'm taking a really large angled brush and blending this all over my, out all over my face because I don't want any harsh lines. This is my favorite part so I'm taking the Benefit High Beam and I'm putting this under my eyes, on my nose, chin, underneath my natural contour and anywhere else that I want my skin to be highlighty and dewy and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender and it gives you this unbelievable effect. I'm obsessed with it. So I actually first blend it out with my fingers um, and then I'll go in with the beauty blender but the fingers will really make it sink into the skin more and the skin will accept it more and it'll look way more natural and then just take the beauty blender and kind of um, pat it on your skin to make it look more airbrushed and blend it out. I switch back and forth between blushes but I like this one because it is the most natural so it's just the Tarte doll face and I'm just doing little circular motions on my cheekbones and on the apples on my cheeks. This step is optional, you don't have to do it, but I think it gives a really nice effect. So I'm just taking the Laura Mercier Eye Primer in Light Ivory and putting that on my eyelids and then blending that out. I think it just makes the canvas look a little nicer and cleaner. And then I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, which I'm obsessed with, and putting that on my lashes. You could really add any lip color that you want, but this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pink Perseverance lip thing, and I really like the color. It's really natural and pretty, so I put that on my lips. Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild White Eyeliner and putting that on my bottom eye thing. What's that called? Eye, eye tight line? Waterline. On my waterline. 
And then I'm taking the Rimmel Magnifies eyeshadow in Jump and just putting that in the inner corner of my eyes and pressing that in and blending everything out. And then you are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. I will talk to you soon. Love you. Goodbye. What are those?